welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Before we get started, let me give a shout out to all the new channel members and special welcome to the new knot connoisseurs and elegant insiders. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the membership options. In this video, I'll share some scarves from the Fall Winter 2024 collection that I've seen, then talk about the designs and what we know about them so far. Let's get started. We'll start with a 45 centimeter gavroche from the women's collection based on Katie Scott's Precious Paradise design from Spring Summer 2024. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can check out my review of the 90 centimeter version. That was one of my top picks from the season. At any rate, Katie Scott has brought us designs such as Lanterne, Ballon et Cocarde, Index Palmarum, Toucan de Paradis, and more. This 45 centimeter extracts one corner of the original design with the giraffe peeking out from behind the fountain. I've seen this so far in at least three colorways, all of which seem to have contrast hems. Calling the bandana fans. Here is a 55 centimeter silk twill bandana based on Daisuke Nomura's Breeds et Destin design from spring summer 2023. I love it when they do these striped hems. This is inspired by three sisters known as the Fates in Roman mythology. The bandana gives an asymmetric treatment of the original design. For those who aren't familiar, Daisuke Nomura first took the Hermes scene by storm in 2012 with his design, C'est la Fête, and has been surprising us with his artistic visions ever since. This is available in at least four colorways so far. This 90 centimeter silk twill is from longtime Hermes artist Florence Manlich. The title translates to We Are Inseparable and takes inspiration from a variety of objets conserved in the Emile Hermes collection. What exactly is their relationship to each other and why they're inseparable is left for you and me to divine. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments. As an artist, Florence Manlich has brought us such designs as Coute de Fouet. Parcours Sans Faute, Robe de Soie, and others. This one is available so far in at least three colorways. This is a 90 centimeter silk twill called Emile et une nuit by Virginie Jamin. She's another longtime and prolific artist with the house, with some of her recent work including Haute Parure, Wild Rhythm, and many more. It's an imaginary insider's view of Emile Hermes's office at night with the occupants coming to life a la Night at the Museum, if you've ever seen that movie series. But of course, this is far more elegant, as one would expect, and a whimsical peek at what these animals might do when left to their own devices. I've seen this in at least six colorways so far, and look forward to seeing what else may become available.
Here is a 140 centimeter cashmere from the women's collection, Sous le Charme d'Orphée by Alice Shirley, based on a design of the same name from the fall winter 2022 season. Alice Shirley is a much beloved Hermes artist whose designs tend to be highly collected. Some of those include Wild Singapore, Jaguar Quetzal, Three Graces, and many more. This design draws inspiration from Greek mythology in the form of Orpheus, a legendary musician and poet known for his ability to charm all living things with his music. I'm sure many of us have been eagerly awaiting this design in the GM cashmere format. It's available so far in at least four colorways. This 140 centimeter cashmere is called a fake kaleidoscope by Gianpaolo Bagni. There's no backstory on it yet, but the name translates to kaleidoscopic effect, which, based on the artist's preferred medium, we can guess was made with stamps. Gianpaolo Bagni has been quite active with the house in recent seasons, most recently with scarf designs such as Le Cavalier en Forme, Twilio Bloc Liste Verni, and Jeu des Omnibus Remix. This one looks to be available in at least seven colorways, which is likely the full complement for the season. As with any scarf, availability can vary by country, which may drive people to extreme lengths to get a preferred colorway, myself included. If you've ever gotten creative about getting your hands on a hard-to-get colorway, share your story in the comments. So there you have it, some of the fall-winter 2024 scarves starting to appear on the Hermes websites. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!